Hey there, video editors and content creators. Welcome back to FP Top Tech. In today's video, we're counting down the top five best video editing laptops for 2023. You'll need one of the best video editing laptops to work with RAW 4K, 6K, 8K, or even 12K video or to create special effects. While you can trim small clips with a cheap laptop, it won't boast a fast processor, strong, discrete graphics, or a high resolution display. You can buy these laptops from the links that are given in the description below. So let's get right into it. Number 5. HP's Book Studio This year's HP's Book Studio G8 holds on to the award-winning G7 series styling but bumps up the power to help content creators with their creative projects either in the studio or in the field. This salacious attention grabber comes with an 11th Gen Intel Core i9 processor, 32GB of RAM, 2TB of SD storage, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 GPU that will more than handle all your Addo Creative Suite power-hungry needs and then some. It's easily one of the best 4K laptops, best workstation laptops, and best video editing laptops that we've tested, even if it's priced at a whopping $4,727 as reviewed. Totally tricked out, the HP's Book Studio G8. We received costs $4,727 and comes with an 11th Gen Intel Core i9 11950H CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 GPU with 6GB of VRM, 32GB of RAM, a 2TB NVM SSD, and a 15.6-inch OLED 4K multi-touch display. With an all-aluminum turbo silver chassis, the Studio G8's lean, razor-sharp styling is the same as last year, just as pretty. Seriously, nobody gets tired of a Lamborghini? That's what this book studio is a powerful, elite sports car begging you to push it to its limits. When closed, the low profile helps you easily slip it into any backpack with room to spare. HP's book studio is secured by its fingerprint reader and Windows Hello compatible webcam. Additional layers of security come from a whole host of features. This includes an embedded TPM 2.0, trusted platform module, chip, and HP's Biosphere Gen 6 enhanced firmware protection from the moment you boot up. Bright and colorful, the HP's Book Studio's 15.6-inch Gorilla Glass 6 multi-touch OLED 4K display produces sharp, vivid images and video. Whether I was editing photos, video, or playing WRC 10 FIA World Rally Championship, everything was lusciously colored. An Intel Core i9-11950H CPU, 32GB of RAM, and a 2TB SSD. These specs are what content creators are looking for in mobile workstation and exactly what this book Studio G8 is packing. I had opened 51 tabs in Google Chrome with 6 playing YouTube videos simultaneously. Then I opened a Google Doc and started typing away while running Capture One to export some images. This book studio G8 treated me like Sharon Lopez at my first high school dance, ignoring my attempts to slow it down and get its attention. Number 4. SI Creator Z16P SI's Creator Z16P is a prodigiously potent powerhouse of content creating perfection that will cost you a pretty penny. Equipped with a 12th Gen Intel Core 912900H CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti GPU with 16GB VRAM, a 1610 golden ratio display with QHD plus 2560x1600 resolution, a 165Hz refresh rate touchscreen, and a stylus, I'm shocked it didn't just manage to drive to my home and deliver itself. The Z16P is a portable content creator workstation that easily handles Adobe Creative Suite's power-hungry needs, enjoys editing and color grading in DaVinci Resolve, and lets you enjoy some gaming too. The sleek, elegant beauty is always ready to be powered up and put to work, but it comes at a high price. Read on to find out if the MSI Creator Z16P is actually worth taking out a loan for, and why it makes our list of best photo editing laptops, best video editing laptops, and best workstations. Totally tricked out, the MSI Creator Z16P we received costs $4,299 and comes with a 12th Gen Intel Core i9-12900H CPU, NVIDIA Force RTX 3080 Ti GPU, with 16 gigabytes of VRM, 64 gigabytes of RAM, a 2TB NVM SSD, and a 16-inch QHD, 2560x1600, 16:10 aspect ratio, 165Hz touchscreen. With a lunar gray CN cell aluminum chassis, the NSI Creator Z16P is a testament to the potency of simple elegance. If Lockheed Martin ever decided to try its hand at designing a laptop, 
I imagine the result would be the MSI Creator Z16P. It's an aggressive and yet refined look. From its tasteful understated lines to its massive 1610 golden ratio touch display, MSI focused on quality, allowing the Z16P's performance and elegance to do the talking. Bold, bright, colorful, sharp, vivid, and stunning are all apt descriptors for the 16-inch 1610 aspect ratio, massive touch display of the NSU Creator Z16P as it sits within its near bezel-less encasement, begging you to create whatever you can imagine. The 2 HD Plus 2560x1600 True Pixel Touch Display is fantastic and a joy to devour and edit video content on. A 12th Gen Intel Core i9-12900H CPU, 64GB of RAM, Video RTX 3080Ti GPU, and a 2TB SSD of the kind of stats that excite content creators. These specs are exactly what they are looking for in a mobile workstation, and the MSI Creator Z16P serves them up in an elegant package. The MSI Creator Z16P comes with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti GPU with 16GB of VRAM, and it is a beast. It never faltered or suffered any poor performance while editing videos with Addo Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. When I shot photos tethered to it using Capture One, the lag between shots was non-existent as images transferred quickly to the display. Number 3. MacBook Pro 14-inch 2023 After leaving techies and MacBook fans alike in a tizzy by not releasing either the M2 Pro or M2 Max chips at the end of 2022, the shiny new Apple Silicon is finally here, and they're checking off all the boxes. More cores on the CPU and GPU. Check. More power? Check. Mesmerizing display, powerful speakers, comfortable keyboard, sharp and accurate webcam. Checks down the board. The two big stories here are, of course, a pair of new chips. They're just as impressive as Apple promise, smacking down any and all challengers with authority. The other story is gaming, which for all that our resident Brit, Jason, complains that Apple doesn't care about, it looks like the company's taking a turn for the better. With the arrival of Resident Evil Village to the App Store, we're on the cusp of a new era for Apple, one where gaming is a legitimate weapon in the company's arsenal. It's an exciting time to be a Mac fan. If there are any complaints to be had, I expected longer battery life due to all the new chip optimization. Don't get me wrong, at over 14 hours of power, the MacBook Pro 14 will definitely land on our longest lasting laptops page as well as best laptops and a slew of other best pages. I was just hoping to squeeze out another hour. It also would have been nice to have a wider color selection, but that's a small quibble. You want a shiny new MacBook Pro? Be prepared to dig deep in your wallet, crack open those piggy banks, or sell a kidney as the base model starts at $1,999. At that price, you're getting a 10-core, 6-performance, 4-efficiency. Apple M2 Pro processor with 16GB of RAM, a 512GB SSD 16-core GPU, with a 16-core neural engine and a 14.2-inch 3024x1964 liquid retina SDR display. As I gingerly unboxed the MacBook Pro 14, I paused for a minute and just held it in my hand. I enjoyed its slight heft and rounded edges, the glossy emblem on the lid, and the MacBook Pro logo carved into the bottom. I sat there with a cool anodized aluminum beauty in my hand, and one word left my lips iconic. Absolutely beautiful. One look at the MacBook Pro 14's Liquid Retina XDR display, and you'll understand Apple's claim of it being world's best laptop display. It's cocky for sure, but as I watched the trailer for Aurora, a love story, and laid my eyes on the vision that is actor Ashley Monique Harper sitting on a dock in a gorgeous wedding dress. Her deep bronze skin glows in the light, making the shimmery white fabric gleam that much more. Alrighty, so what do all those numbers and claims amount to? A hella powerful laptop? That's what. My review unit is equipped with a 12-core M2 Pro CPU, 32GB of memory, a 2TB SAT, and it's a beast. Number 2. Razer Blade 16. New screening size, who dis? Razer is the latest laptop OEM to switch from odds to events when it comes to screen size. The Razer Blade 16 brings that sleek, minimalist design that we know and love from the company. Along with some cool bells and whistles such as the overclockable Intel Core i9 processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU, making it one of the most powerful gaming laptops on the market. But there's more than that. Check out the display, the 16-inch Scene 10 Mini LED is absolutely stunning bursting with color and seriously sharp detail. Razer could have just gone with a regular 4K display, 
but never afraid to buck convention, the company has unveiled the world's first dual-mode mini-LED panel with the ability to switch between 4K resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate and 1920x1200 with a 240Hz refresh rate. Essentially giving gamers and content creators the best of both worlds, the laptop is designed to deliver an optimal visual experience no matter what you're doing. Throw in a bunch of ports, a comfy, colorful keyboard, some great audio, and you've definitely got yourself a winner worthy of sitting on our best gaming laptops page. But at $4,299, I expect faster file transfer speeds and a smoother transition between display modes. If you want a powerful gaming laptop that sits on the cutting edge, read on to learn the ins and outs of the Razer Blade 16. You're going to be spending a pretty penny for the Razer Blade 16, no matter which configuration you settle on. The base model, for instance, costs $2,699 and has a 2.2 GHz Intel Core i9-13950HX processor with 16GB of RAM, a 1TBC say 4.0 NVM and 2 SAD Intel UHD graphics, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU with 8GB of VRM, and a 16-inch 2560x1600 display with a 16:10 aspect ratio and a 240Hz refresh rate. The size might have changed, but the Razer Blade 16's good looks remain. The notebook's chassis is made of black, fingerprint-resistant CNC aluminum. The lid is bare save the company's three-headed snake emblem that glows the eerie neon green. The corners are gently rounded as is the front and back of the laptop's undercarriage. When it's time to edit photos or video, there's Creator Mode which adjusts the screen to 3840x2400 resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate, which if you really wanted to is more than acceptable for some high-quality gaming. But if you want lighting-fast rendering with minimal input lag that leads to better accuracy, you want gaming mode, which dials down the resolution to 1920x1200 with a blistering 240Hz refresh rate. The Blade 16 is the latest gaming laptop to join the 4090 Club. With its NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU with 16GB of RAM, it's one of the most powerful gaming systems on the market. But how does it hold up against systems that are equally or close to rocking comparable specs? Swimmingly. Number 1. MacBook Pro 16-inch M2 Max 2023. The new king of the MacBooks is here. Long be its reign, which should be about a year. Apple's coming out of the gate swinging, how fitting the laptop with the company's proprietary M2 Max chip. It puts competitors to shame while putting a clear gulf between its predecessors. And yes, it is possible to game on this system thanks to the chip. I had a hell of a good time being terrified during Resident Evil Village. In addition to the powerful chipset, you get a captivating 16-inch display, powerful audio, and a super comfy keyboard. But the cherry on the top is the battery life, which lasted nearly 19 hours. In short, the MacBook Pro 16 is an unmitigated beast. But not so fast, there's always a price. And in the case of MacBook Pro 16 and 2 Max, the price is the actual cost, $2,699 starting, $5,299 as reviewed. It's par for the course with Apple, but it still will give most people, including this reviewer, pause. The starting price for my configuration is $3,499 and has a 12 core, 8 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. Apple M2 Max CPU 38-core Apple GPU with a 16-core neural engine. You get 32GB of unified memory, a 1TB SSD in a 16.2-inch 3456x2234 pixel liquid retina XDR display. My review unit comes in at $5,299 and bumps up the unified memory to a ridiculous 96GB and the storage to a 4TB SD. Woo! Apple sure knows how to make a pretty display. The MacBook Pro 16 has a 16.2-inch Liquid Retina XDR, extreme dynamic range, panel that's positively spellbinding. With its 3024x1964 p resolution, this screen is jam-packed with pixels to the tune of 7.7 .7 million pixels with 254 pixels per inch. It makes for bold colors with sharp details. It's been a long wait, but we're finally here. It started with the 13-inch MacBook Air and the M2 chip. It continues with the latest additions to the roster, the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. First, let's talk about the M2 Pro. It's available as either a 10 or 12 core CPU with 6 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores for the former and 8P cores and 4 E cores for the latter. The base model of the GPU gives you 16 cores while the other has 19. 
Apple claims that translates into the chip being 20% faster than the CPU and 30% faster than the GPU on the last gen and M1 chip. With the M2 Pro, you can get either 16 or 32 gigabytes of unified memory. So let's get down to brass tacks. How fitted with Apple M2 Max CPU, a 16-core neural engine, 96 gigabytes of unified memory and 4 TB of storage, the MacBook Pro 16 is an unstoppable beast. I threw everything I could think of at it. 100 Google Chrome tabs, laden with Google Docs, Sheets and Slides. Plus, quite a few tabs of YouTube and Twitch, playing with Facebook, Twitter, and a host of news sites. I even ran Resident Evil Village with all of this reckless chaos. The MacBook Pro 16 shrugged it off, and I couldn't detect any slowdown or stuttering. So that it happened? Folks, the top 5 best video editing laptops of 2023. Whether you're into macOS, Windows, or something in between, there's a laptop on this list to suit your needs. Make sure to check the links in the description for more information and pricing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to FP Top Tech for more tech reviews and tips. And as always, let us know in the comments which laptop you're most excited about or if you think we missed any great options. Thanks for watching and video editing.